After last week's unfortunate debacle in Chicago at the National Association of Black Journalists, whose invitation I graciously accepted and in which I participated, the fake media-like despicable ABC News, Un-American Broadcast Channel, the failing New York and Broadcast Channel, the failing New York Times, CNN, the Communist News Network, are unfairly characterizing your favorite president, me, as a racist, a bigot, and a misogynist. And nothing could be further from the truth. Donald J. Trump is the least racist, bigoted, and misogynistic person you will ever meet. That is, unless I am nowhere within earshot of a black, a Jew, a Latino, one of the many varieties of Chinese-ish people, an Indian or a Muslim. I harbor my racism, bigotry, and misogyny within the deepest recesses of my heart, or what's left of it. You will never, never, ever hear Donald J. Trump utter a racist remark. That's because I only allow myself to do that once a month, all by myself, in my bedroom totally naked and covered in cherry flavored jello i love cherry so good so good and lime flavored jello also very tasty very sticky but i digress in no way does donald j trump discriminate on the basis of color creed ethnicity sexual identity or gender at least not currently that was a very long time ago when i was just a kid and my daddy was a slumlord i treat everybody the same with utter disdain and disgust Everybody except me are low-life meat puppets. Look, I might be weird, smelly, narcissistic, delusional, dishonest, corrupt, without empathy or any moral compass, but I am no way racist, bigoted, or misogynistic. Look, all you have to do is look at the massive rally we had in the South Bronx on May 23rd. It was incredible. There were tens of thousands of people who showed up for that rally. Tens of thousands. And there was such a beautiful outpouring of love. Nothing but love from my African Americans. Where are my African Americans? And my Latinos? Where are all of my beautiful Latinos? There was such an outpouring of love. So much love. They all know that sleepy Joe Biden is not getting the job done for the Bronx. They all agree with me that these millions and millions of people, very bad Latino dark people that are coming into our country, the biggest impact and the biggest negative impact is against our black population. And our Hispanic population who are losing their jobs, losing their housing, losing everything they can lose. As usual, of course, I had no idea what the hell I was talking about. It was the 80 milligrams of Adderall that I crushed up and snorted right before the rally. It was the Adderall that was making all of this crap up. I had nothing to do with it. Basically, I'm just an orange primate with a gigantic mouth and excess noise. I mean, just give me four or five of those beautiful little orange wafers and I'm off to the races. I just go where they take me. My brain goes on vacation and my mouth goes full tilt like a jackhammer. Yakity yak 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 yak. Zoom zoom me blah 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 blah. Bang 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 yak yak yak. Blah 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 blah. Yak yak. Zoom zoom zoom. Icky 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 icky. Wee wee yak 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 yak. Hippity bop. What in the hell did you think gave me the courage to go into a damn bodega in the South Bronx? It wasn't me. That's for damn sure. Because I'm the biggest coward on the planet. Remember, President Bunker Boy. Give me a handful of my little orange babies and I turn into Captain America. And you know what else? When I went into that bodega, they absolutely loved me. The Secret Service had a hell of a time trying to keep them from trying to kind of group hug me. And they were cheering and applauding like crazy. What I don't understand is that they didn't know my name. They were cheering and cheering for somebody named Marty Cohen. Or did they think I was Marty Cohen? Marty Cohen? Who the hell is Marty Cohen? They had to know that my name is Donald Trump. Not, Not Marty Cohen. Cohen. Not, Not only that, that. some were cheering, shouting Solomon Beachy. Trump Solomon Beachy. Solomon Beachy. Solomon Beachy. Do I look like those guys, Marty Cohen? Solomon Beachy? That was really weird. Very, very weird. Marty Cohen. Marty Cohen. Marty Cohen. Marty Cohen. I just don't get it.